What's up guys, I'm Paul and welcome to the e-commerce gold YouTube channel. So a common question or query I get about Shopify is how do I create sub collections or sub categories? And the simple answer is you can't. Shopify just doesn't allow this with the way its collection system works. And I'll show you what I mean by this. So if we go into create a collection, there's no option available anywhere on the page to add this collection as a sub collection of another collection. That's a lot of collections in a short period of time, but there's just no option here. It doesn't matter whether it's an automated collection or a manual collection, the option just isn't there. And even if you go in and edit an existing one, once again, that option isn't there because Shopify just doesn't allow you to do this. But there are a couple of workarounds you can use. So it appears this way on the front end of your website. And I'm gonna quickly show you what these are in this video. So the first one is using your navigation menu. And this one is super simple and super easy to do. And on the front end of your site, if we jump into our front end of my demo store, if we click on accessories, it'll bring up a drop down menu with watches and signet rings. And if we click on either of these, it'll bring up all the collections that we have available. So that's one way you can make it appear that way on the front end of your website. And this is really easy to set up. Because what we're gonna do is go back into our dashboard, go into online store, go into navigation, and click on our main menu. And as you can see, this is how I've set this up. I've basically nestled options under other options. But I'll show you how to set this up yourself. So the first one is you need to add a menu item. And you can choose any link you want for this because as soon as you add an option underneath it, it starts becoming a clickable link and just becomes a drop down menu. So for this, we're just gonna add pages and we'll click on accessories and we'll add that item to the menu. And then we're gonna add another option. So we'll go into pages again and we'll click on watches, follow a simple kind of recipe what I've already showed you, click on add, and then to drag this across, what you wanna do is click on these six dots here, so the hand appears, and just drag it over to the right so that blue circle just moves over to the right slightly. Release your mouse and it'll nestle watches under accessories. And on the front end of your site, if you save this menu, accessories would no longer be a clickable link. So if you clicked on it, it wouldn't take you through to the page or whatever link you chose for that main menu heading. It just doesn't become a clickable link anymore. It just becomes an option to show a drop down menu. And to add another level to this menu, what we're going to do is click on add menu item to accessories. And we're actually going to choose one of our collections because this is what we actually want a clickable link for. So we'll click on automatic watches, add that one to the menu. And once again, we're going to click on those six dots and drag it to the right. So that blue circle moves over and then it nestles automatic watches under watches. And on the front end of your site, just as I just showed, neither of these two options are clickable because up here, you see I've done the same thing and these are links to pages. But if we go back into the front end of our site, open these up, they're no longer clickable links that take you through to those pages. They just open up the drop down menu for your collections. So that's the way the navigation menu works. It's super simple. It was actually better in the old system because this is using the new OS 2.0. And I'll show you what I mean by this. So if we go into a menu, go into themes, we'll leave that page because I don't want to save that menu. And if we preview one of the old themes, which is the debut theme, which was the old default theme. And if you click on accessories, the top level used to still be clickable. So while the main menu heading would just present the drop down menu, the actual kind of next level that you used to create, so watches and signet rings, used to be clickable. So if you clicked on these, it would take you through to that page. But they've changed that on the new one. I don't know why. It's definitely not an improvement on the new OS 2.0. I preferred the old menu layout because you used to be able to make things appear better for your customers on the front end of your site. But that's the first way you can do it, which is using the navigation menu. It's super simple to do, and it does appear like there's sub collections on the front end of your site. It just doesn't appear as well as it used to with the old menu system, but it still works quite well because under accessories, you've still got those two headings and then people can navigate to your collections. So it does work, it works pretty well, and it makes it easy for customers to navigate the front end of your site. Now, the second method is using pages on your site to link from one page to another to a collection. Now, I've done a full tutorial showing you exactly how to set this up, which I'll leave a link to in the card above. It's one of those sites, I can't remember which one. I'll also leave a link to it in the description because I go through step by step how to set this up using the new OS 2.0 because it is pretty simple to do. 
And in this video, I'm not gonna go through and replicate myself on that one because I've already done a video explaining all the steps. I'll just show you exactly how it works. So as you can see on this menu, what we've got is it's set up. So we've got basically a parent collection and then a sub collection. But by using sections that are available in the new OS 2.0, you can create the following kind of setup. So if we click on accessories, you'll see that I've got the two same options that I've got in this drop-down menu. So I've got watches and signet rings. And if we click on signet rings, for example, it takes you through to all of the collections I've got available under the signet rings. And then customers can click on that and it'll show you all the products that are available. And this works really well. It can look really good on the front end of your site. I'll quickly show you the sections that you need to use when you're setting up these pages. So if we go back into themes and we'll go back up and we'll click on customize to open the theme customizer. You wanna create page templates, which I'll show you how to do in the other video, but I'll show you the sections you need. So we'll go on pages and we'll create a new template. We'll base it on the default page and we'll call this demo original, I know. Create template and as you can see, it brings up a blank page for you to work from. The two sections you're gonna need are you're gonna need the collection list, which shows you all the collections, and this takes you through to all the products that are in your collection. The second section you'll need if you wanna create a page in front of this one is you're gonna to need to use the multi-column section. So if we add that one, this is the multi-column section and you just basically set it up so it appears like this page on the front end of your site. So you add a picture and add a link, etc. And then this page, you'll then link through to the collection list which is this one. And then that one goes through to your products. So you click on that one and it goes through to your products. So it is very simple to do. You just need to set the templates up and the pages, but say, I show you exactly how to do that in my other video, going to it in much more detail. So those are the two methods I've found for making it appear like you've got sub collections on the front end of your website. Now I know neither of these are perfect, but they are better than nothing. And it's gonna make it a lot easier for customers to navigate around your site. Now I do wish Shopify had brought the old menu system over into the new OS 2.0 because if you combine that with the new page builder that's available in the template builder, you could have made it so much easier for your customers to navigate around your site. But even so, if you use these two options that I've shown in this video, the navigation menu and building the pages, it will make it easier for customers to navigate around your store. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you have a like would be absolutely awesome. Also, if you'd like to support the channel, you can do by buying me a coffee using the link in the description below. So thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Stay awesome and I'll see you in the next one.